In this video, we're going to code a 2D camera using Pygame that follows the player. The code for this, for the previous step, and the completed code is in the description below. Let's get started. Let's code a camera. Let's go ahead and create a new file called camera.py. We'll need Pygame. Let's go ahead and import Pygame. Make it a little bit bigger. Then what we're going to do is we'll come in here and we'll say uh, camera equals pygame.py rect short for rectangle and then we'll come in and we'll just put zeros in all of these so the camera is going to be at a certain position and then the camera is going to have a certain size to it it's going to basically be the size of the window let's come in here and we'll create a function that creates a screen so we'll come in here we'll say create screen um let's take in width height title next what we're going to do is we'll come in and uh, set our uh, title by doing set caption. We'll say title. So this this refers to like the um, up here at the top, like the title of the window, uh, what it's named. Then we'll come in here and we'll say screen equals pie game display uh, set mode. And then you come in here and just put width and height. Okay. And then from here, what we'll do is uh, we'll come in here and let the camera know about the width and height. And it will just return the screen. Perfect. So we, when we're creating a screen, we'll come in, we'll set the title of the window. Then uh, we'll create a window that's just, you know, this big by that big. And then we'll basically let the camera know how big the screen is as well. With that done, let's now go ahead and integrate this into main.py. So we'll come into main.py and we'll say uh, from camera import create screen. We're going to call this function instead of doing this code down here. So find where you're doing set caption and set mode. And we'll come in here and we'll say screen equals create screen. We have this nice function that's just a little bit easier to work with. 800 by 600 and then the title is adventure game or whatever you want it to be so we just replace those two lines of code with this code here um one thing really quick i like putting uh parameters that are going to be longer like this string right here i like to put them after um that way you're not putting like 800 and 600 down like at the very right of your screen two more steps to this we're going to come in and uh, go to our sprite.py and sprites now need to basically draw themselves based on the camera. Uh, come up here to the top and we're going to say from camera, import camera. Then come down here, find where you're doing self X and self Y. And we can just come in here, sneak right in here. So right inside of there, right to the left of the comma, we'll say minus camera X. That should look like that. And then we'll do minus camera y so it should look like that perfect we're actually going to do the same thing with the tile map too as well so let's come into uh map.py come up to the top do the same thing from camera import camera and then we'll go down to the bottom here this one's a little bit uh take a look you're going to have to kind of squeeze it into here so go right here right to the left of the comma we'll do camera x and then this y here will do camera y now this line is a little long so we can come in here we can do that um so that it goes like that perfect okay and then uh last thing that we're going to do is we'll uh go to the player so inside of the player the player needs to basically set the camera position uh based on where the player is so let's come in here up at the top we're going to say from uh camera import camera okay and then we'll come in here and we'll do camera dot x equals self dot x and then we'll do camera y equals self dot y so basically every single time the player updates themselves they'll just come and set the camera's position to that be very careful with x and y um one of the most common typos that i've had is mixing these up and there was one time i had a bug that i literally looked for three days 
because I put an X where a Y was supposed to be. This is something really easy to mix up. So if for some reason you have errors or anything like that, that's probably check that and just make sure that uh, that's good. Let's come in here and we'll go to main.py and then we'll hit the uh, run button and uh, we'll go from there. And I now have a player and you can see that the uh, camera is now moving with the uh, player. Now, one thing you might notice is that the player is like way up at the top left. And this is because we're just simply setting the camera's position to where the player is. So we'll come in here. Instead of doing that, we want to kind of move the player. We want, we want the player to be in the center of the camera, which means we need to just do a, a little bit of additional like addition to do that. So we'll come in, let's uh, stop this. I'll close my terminal here, uh, whatever. And then we'll come in and we'll do go to player.py. And then inside of here, what we're going to do is we'll say minus camera dot width divided by two. Divided by two meaning you're going to do half of the camera size, which is the screen size. Let's come in here, we'll do minus camera height minus two. Make sure not to mix these up. So width and height. Uh, width goes first and then height. So height goes with Y and width goes with X. Okay, let's go into main.py and we'll run this again. And this is what we got. We now have the player in the center. And there we go. And you can like move the player around. Now, if you're, if you want to be really, really strict with this, where my mouse is right now, if you can kind of see, that is actually the center of everything, uh, not the center of where the player is. So if you want to, if you want to fine tune this a little bit, we can further sort of improve this a little bit by go ahead and close this. I guess this step is a little less necessary, but go to player.py and we can come in here. We can do plus um, self dot image dot get width whatever the size of the width is of the player. And then we can do divided by two. We can do the same thing, self.image.getHeight divided by two. Just make sure there's parentheses after those. I just forgot to do that. Um, again, this step is slightly less necessary because the players, it's only gonna make a really, really slight modification, but it's just one of those fine tuning things now that we've got everything working. If I come in here, main.py, the player is now exactly in the middle of the screen. So perfect. That's it. We now have a camera running in the game. Really good job. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that this helps. Um, again, the general concept behind a camera in a two dimensional game is that you're subtracting everything uh, from the camera's position. That's really it. So everything, you know, X and Y minus the camera's X and Y. In 3D, it's a little bit uh, more involved. You use uh, matrices, and there's steps involved with that. But with 2D, it's a lot. It's a lot, um, you know, more straightforward. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day.